there's a gentleman who lives on the motion picture and television fund campus whose name is Brett Hadley. Uh, Brett's part of a creative writing group there called the Gray Quill Society, and he was recently published in an anthology of their work. In this particular passage, I think Brett has done something incredible. They're, we're not living in easy times, as we all know, and Brett's been through some tough ones in his past. There are important things we can learn from people who go through things like that and their hard-earned knowledge. I um, hope you'll agree. Here's his story. There is much I miss as I reach the sunset of my life, but near the top of my list is TAPS, that long and mournful call to reflect on the events of the day's struggles, to put them into perspective and put the day to rest. I don't know when TAPS was first blown over the camps of war, but I can picture it in a time before long-range, impersonal warfare, a time before gunpowder and the longbow, when combat was hand-to-hand -hand and face-to-face -face with the man who was there to kill you and you, him. A time when war had rules and a certain degree of civility, as if that concept could ever be applied to wholesale killing. A time when retreat was blown at sundown and each army withdrew to their own camps to retrieve their wounded and bury their dead to rest for tomorrow's fight and to reevaluate the day. In my mind, I can hear that lonesome call and to know it had been a good day. You had fought well and you had survived. You had killed, but you had survived to fight again tomorrow. But for what? Put that aside for a saner time. Your job is to survive tomorrow, albeit for the glory of someone else. Our current struggles may or may not be as grave, but still it is good to reflect on your day. Did it have anything of value for you or someone else? Was it a productive day? Will tomorrow have merit? I would love to hear taps blow over the campus to put the day to rest and to sleep. Wow, uh, such a powerful image. I mean, I can, I can certainly feel that feeling and hear that low note of the bugler disappearing into the silence. So many of us have never experienced being a soldier in combat and in war and, and surviving the day. Uh, and I think that really brings it home given today's pandemic related issues. Let's hope we all have a lot of tomorrows left. As you all know, MPTF is an organization that helps support people in need in the entertainment industry. Please take a minute to visit them online, listen to some other great short stories, and support this important cause. Thanks very much. Stay safe.